Welcome to episode number four of this Mets franchise. Today, the Mets are playing the Miami Marlins back here at City Field. We are currently sitting at 20 and 19, and it's a happy Mother's Day to everyone out there, as it is Mother's Day in the game. Um, I was going to try to film Jackie Robinson Day, but I didn't, so I thought I may as well get Mother's Day with the pink bats and stuff. Um, so yeah. So the Mets here are looking to stay above 500 and to potentially gain a game back in the division as we have to play the struggling Miami Marlins team as there is a strikeout for Vargas. Marlins, I think, are sitting at like 14 and 30 or something. They're not too hot this year. Um, but, yeah, and that should be a just a plain sin there. That's a catch. So I am playing Edwin and Pete Alonso today. Pete's been playing a lot hotter. Just I'm playing Edwin over at third base. We're gonna see how that goes. And first pitch, and that is caught. Now Brandon Nimmo is up. Nimmo swings it one. That ball is gone. Brandon Nimmo solo home run. His fourth of the year gives us a 1-0 lead against the Marlins. Shot by Brandon. So guys, before you ask, I am going to try to do, I want to say somewhere around 20 episodes of this franchise for this season. Um, and then like I said, depending on where we're at, that should be caught. We are. We might be doing off-season playoffs, um, and all of that. But like I said, we're gonna be playing multiple seasons, so we're gonna probably do the off-season and next season, and it's gonna be a fun franchise, guys. So make sure you're subscribed, and we're doing this for a while. And there's another strikeout by Vargas, and now it's gonna bring up Conforto. And Conforto is gonna crush one. His 11th of the year. And we are just killing the Marlins. Like this is just... And there's a little hit by Cano. Looking to get an RBI here. And he's going to hit another one in the gap. That's where his walk off was. Three guys with absolutely no speed trying to run the bases, and it's going to be a 3 nothing game with a double by Edwin. A bit bigger. And an RBI ground out's not bad. 4 to nothing now. And he's going to get a little hit back up the middle, and it's going to be first and third. Is just We have no speed at all. And McNeil will get a little hit there as it's now 5 to nothing. We lead and they're already going to the bullpen their pitcher couldn't even make it out of the second inning and their bullpen is now in the game that's how bad the Marlins are and Pete Alonso will ground out oh no he's safe he comes off the base and the inning will continue and strike three Conforto will go down swinging And well, the hit machine continues. Another base hit. I think that's our eight or ninth one tonight. And Ramos is going to probably ground into a double play right there. And he does ground into a double play. Edwin's really liking the pink bats. That's his second hit of the day. As it's... And that's going to change as he just got a hit through the left side. Now it's going to bring up it's going to bring up uh Rosario for his third time hit. And Rosario will fly out and the third inning is over. And first pitch, that one is taken deep. And we do give up a run to the Marlins. Wow, that one was a shot Rojas. And he will grab his second hit. Ooh, that that one might roll to the wall. Well, we probably could have sent him three. 
We're just going to keep him at two, though, for uh, Pete Alonso. And Pete Alonso finally gets a hit. That might be his first hit I had with him. And he's going to get an RBI double as we keep the five-run lead. And he's going to get a base hit there. And it's now a 7-1 to one game. The Marlins are just getting killed here. They're just, they, their franchise is just falling apart. And, oh, he hammers one. Oh, doesn't make the catch. That would have been nice, though. That's a shot up the wall for Neil Walker, though. Bringing up Rojas, or it's Chen, the pitcher, and he will get a base hit. That will most likely score a run. And it will. It's now a 7-2 to game. And he is going to hit a long shot. That will be caught though. So we're looking to get out of this. Still with a 5 run lead. Oh. That will be caught. So here we go. To the bottom of the 7th now. Conforto will be grounding out there. Oh no he comes off the base. And Conforto will be safe. And there will be Cano with a base hit. And now it's first and second with no outs for us. And Todd Frazier swings at one. And oh, he makes the catch. So that is right, guys. We are going to have Todd Frazier be our new pitcher. Yep, he hits one pretty hard. Nice play over there by McNeil for the first out. Which is, I think, change up and ball four. Not swinging at that. And strike three. Wow. Frazier gets a strikeout. Oh, that's going to be trouble. That's in the gap. And so it's now a 7 to 3 game as Frazier. He's getting hit around pretty hard pitches. And he's going to hammer one. Jeff McNeil will make the grab though as we go to the bottom of the eighth. And he is going to ground into a double play. Pete Alonso, just he is not great in this game at all. And wow, Todd Frazier just struck him out. And a high fly ball, Ramos will call him off to make the grab and he is going to find one that should be caught and it is caught that does the game guys thank you for watching remember to hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys in episode number five of this series peace out